It is December 2007. You decide to go to the temple, as you have asthma. You see a friendly woman come up towards you, and you start up a conversation with her. She then asks you what you came to the temple for. You state that you're having severe problems with asthma. She claims that she could solve your asthma problem with a puja or ritual. At the temple. Soon after, she gives you holy water. You think nothing of it, and gulp it, oblivious to the fact that the drink contains huge amounts of cyanide. Over the next two to five minutes, you aren't able to breathe and suffer a cardiac arrest. As you close your eyes, you spot the so-called friendly woman running off to your house to rob your belongings. This is what happened to 60-year-old Yeshad Ama. You might think, that must be the end, she gets arrested, and everyone lived happily after. You are wrong. She is a serial killer, and she is known to have murdered at least seven people. This is the story of Kempama, also known as Cyanide Maalika. She was born in 1970 in Kagalipura, Karnataka. Her parents are not openly known to this day. When she grew up she married a tailor, who later threw her out in 1998, after her business took large losses. She then worked in many jobs such as becoming a domestic worker, and a goldsmith's assistant. She was suspected to have stolen from the houses she worked in, as a domestic worker. During October 1999 she murdered a helpless 30-year-old Mumtha Rajan. She befriended the victim, and went to her home claiming to do a ritual which will solve her problem. Helpless Mumtha was then given holy water, which would be the final step in solving her problem. As you should know by now those drinks had high amounts of cyanide, which made poor Mumtha die in agony. Not all things would go her way, as she would then be arrested two years later. She was arrested by the police when she was trying to rob jewels from a house where she was to perform a ritual. She was imprisoned for six months, as the police didn't know she had committed a murder in 1999. Six years later, in 2007, she went on a murdering spree, murdering five victims. 50-year-old Elizabeth, 60-year-old Yashadama, and Muniyama were some of the victims. She used the same method she used to kill poor Muntha to kill her later victims. A year later, in 2008, she would be arrested again. She was flagged by an anonymous tip, given to the police. The words of the anonymous tipper was as follows. She has been selling the jewelry of her victims at a bus stand under the name of Jayama. The sad thing is, while there was circumstantial evidence that she had murdered people, there was no direct proof against her. Though she had committed murders for her own gain, as per the Criminal Court of Justice. It did not come under the category of, the rarest of rarest cases to be rewarded a death penalty. And so she was sentenced to life in prison. She posed as a devotional lady who knew how to do rituals quite well, and targeted befriended woman devotees coming from rich family backgrounds. She would claim that they can get through this bad time by doing a particular ritual at the temple. She made sure that the temple was far away from the victim's house and poisoned the victim just to depart to the victim's house and steal all the belongings. She emotionally manipulated people going through a hard time, and I find that absolutely disgusting. In my next video, I will be documenting the serial killer and psycho, Otto Schunker. Hope you have grim dreams, good night.